Ordnance Survey Ireland began life 185 years ago in 1824, when field surveyors known as sappers began to mark, measure and catalogue every hill, valley and townland, every village, field and street, every road, river and lane. Ordnance Survey Ireland has a unique history, a distinguished past with many notable achievements and innovations. Many surveying methods and instruments were pioneered here and later went on to be employed in mapping other territories abroad. In 1824, Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Colby was commissioned to survey all of Ireland at a scale of 6 inches to 1 mile. Colby quickly set to work selecting a team of surveyors and conducting the first principal triangulation of all Ireland. Triangulation involved taking sightings and measuring the angles and distances between far-off mountaintops in a network of triangles covering the entire country. Once one side of the triangle was accurately measured, the length of every other triangle side could be calculated by relating it to this baseline measurement. Setting up on one triangulation pillar, you could also measure the angle between two other points. These values would allow you to mathematically determine distances that could not easily be measured by ground methods. Triangulation pillars can still be seen on many mountaintops and elevated sites around the country, although most of these date from the re-triangulation in 1959. An example of a triangulation pillar can be seen at the entrance to the OSI headquarters at the Phoenix Park. Many benchmarks, or crow's feet as they are better known, can be seen carved into walls, bridges and buildings throughout the country. These marked a specific known height above sea level. For paper maps, the printing process which was carried out in-house until recent times has changed enormously from copper plates and limestone tablets in the early days. All historical mapping has now been scanned and stored and made accessible through an OSI website. Throughout its long and distinguished history, OSI has pioneered many innovations and inventions and has always been among the most advanced mapmaking organisations in the world. The digital revolution has made mapping faster, more flexible and less labour intensive. Aerial photography is the primary tool of today's cartographer. And on any clear day, it's a pretty good bet there are two OSI aircraft in the air, each flying at a constant 8,000 feet, in a tight, predetermined pattern somewhere over the country. The pilot is given his flight pattern on disc before takeoff and carefully follows the planned route throughout the flight. As the photography is captured, its positioning globally is determined simultaneously. Field surveys add further accuracy by determining the position of distinctive points or control points on the ground, so that the aerial data can be accurately referenced to the national grid. Field surveyors are the most public face of OSI, often seen on our streets and roads. The Surveyor's Field Operating Information System, or FIS for short, is very sophisticated and uses a pen computer linked to a GMS measuring instrument to input data into the overall database. The advantage of using digital data is that the information can be retrieved in a variety of formats and used in a range of applications. Digital data can be presented in a variety of ways, from printed maps to digital files and 3D models if required allowing professionals like architects, engineers and planners to examine the setting of a new building bridge or road before it's built. These professionals are among OSI's most consistent and demanding customers. Modern industry and commerce needs a broad range of geographic information in the form required and at short notice. In an ever-changing environment, 
OSI mapping data is finding ever-increasing uses in new areas such as pollution control, flood management, emergency planning and disease tracking and will be one of the fundamental tools in the monitoring of global warming and planning for its effect on the environment. This is making OSI's products and services, as well as our technical knowledge, an important element in driving the Irish economy. The latest innovation in digital mapping is the ability to simulate a fly-through of a particular site or location. Using three-dimensional OSI mapping data, fully accurate virtual models allow planners to take a flyover or drive through a site to see what impact their plans will have on the environment or on existing constructions. This facility can save millions of euros on major projects simply by allowing so much to be visualised and anticipated before a single sod is turned. The digital age has opened up enormous possibilities, many of them dependent on geographic information. OSI faces into the future confident and excited about its role in the future development of our economy. We look forward to another 185 years of progress and innovation, of serving all our customers, whoever they may be.